This is lecture number 50 in the FOA series of lectures on fiber optics. In this lecture we're going to talk about a subject that seems to confuse a lot of people. We're going to talk about what you strip when you're stripping an optical fiber. Fiber optic techs are stripping fibers all the time. They're stripping fibers to cleave and splice them. They're stripping fibers to terminate them in connectors. And whenever you strip the fiber, what you're doing is removing the plastic buffer coatings on the glass fiber. In this picture here, you can see the 900 micron plastic tight buffer on a fiber being stripped for splicing. The question is, why do some people think you're stripping the cladding on the fiber? Significant number of people answer the questions on FOA tests that when you strip fibers, you're stripping the cladding. Why is that? We wondered where this misconception came from, but after looking at a large number of websites, it became obvious. Practically every drawing of an optical fiber that we found on a website showed the core sticking out of the cladding. Now if you just look at these drawings, it's pretty easy to assume that the core and the cladding and all the separate buffer coatings are all separate and could be separated. We found one major exception to that drawing, which we'll show you in a second. But the fact that all these drawings showed the core and the cladding as separate units of the fiber made it pretty easy to understand why people conclude that the core and the cladding can be separated. The drawing that was the exception, of course, came from the FOA Guides website page on optical fiber. We wanted to make sure with this drawing that everybody understood that in single mode and multi-moded graded index glass fiber, that the fiber is one solid piece of glass. If you've ever looked at a website or a video about how fiber is manufactured, you know that that single tiny strand of glass is pulled from a larger piece of glass called a preform. The preform is made in one piece and different doping of the glass in the preform creates the different types of glass in the core and the cladding. But the easy way to prove to yourself that you don't strip the cladding off the core of the fiber when you do termination or splicing is to simply prove it to yourself. Take a connector and look at it in a microscope. This is a 5125 multi-mode fiber glued into a ceramic ferrule connector. The connector has a 125 micron hole to fit the cladding diameter of the fiber. Here's a single mode connector. It's even more obvious here. You can see the core of the fiber and the cladding inside the ceramic ferrule of the connector. Mm, I don't think we uh, strip the cladding off that 9 micron core to make this termination, did we? Ever use a fusion splicer? Look at the images of the fiber in the screen on the splicer. You can see the core and the cladding of the fiber. In fact, some fusion splicers are cladding alignment splicers and some are core alignment splicers. But that display does a good job of showing you the core and the cladding as you're getting ready to splice the fibers. Didn't strip the cladding off here either, did we? The core and the cladding are not separable in all glass fibers, the typical single mode and multi mode graded index fibers we deal with. We wish we could convince all of the people that put drawings of fiber on the web to not use a drawing like this that makes you think the core and the cladding are separate. 
Of course, there's always an exception. Some specialty fibers have a glass core and a plastic cladding. Those two types of fibers are called HCS, or hard clad silica, and PCS, plastic clad silica fiber. Some of the plastic clad silica fiber requires that you remove the plastic cladding when you terminate the fiber in a connector. But these are big fibers. These are 200 micron core fibers. And they are, well, they're pretty rare in today's fiber optic world. Even plastic fiber, that giant fiber there, has a core and a cladding of plastic, but you don't strip the cladding off the plastic fiber when you terminate it. So the next time you strip a fiber to prepare it for splicing or termination, remind yourself you're stripping the plastic buffer off the glass fiber, leaving the core and the cladding which you'll terminate or splice. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the International Professional Society of Fiber Optics. We're here to demystify fiber and kill off a few myths if we have to.